everybody welcome to my channel my name is marion if you're new i create beauty fashion and lifestyle videos today is going to be a vlog not my first vlog but kind of like my first vlog um, i'm staying overnight in london and i'm staying at a hilton my husband was kind enough to book me a room for the night my friend and i are going out to celebrate my birthday which was a couple of weeks ago and i thought i'd just pick up the camera why not um i'll show you a quick tour of the room and i will be doing a makeup sort of get ready with me i'll kind of feel my getting ready process i'm wearing this braided wig from shein i have a couple of shorts on my channel with this wig this is like my go-to wig but i'm not wearing it tonight i will be changing it and yeah so forgive me if i'm looking in the wrong direction because i'm not really quite sure where to look i'm filming this on my phone um but i'm really excited for tonight um my back is killing me actually like that really damns in my mood earlier my back is really hurting but hopefully i can just like get myself together and have a nice time with my friend and yeah stay tuned please like the video please comment please share please subscribe all that jazz i'll catch you later so as you come in this is the front door um you access the bedroom by the stairs this is the bathroom nice shower um nice mirror there's a toilet there's no bathtub but that's fine because it's only just me so that's the shower then on this side we have like a wardrobe that lights up i've just kept my jacket and my scarf those are my shoes and there's like some drawers underneath there Then when you open, you've got an ironing board with an iron, which I'm not sure if I'll need, but maybe I will. So we'll just go downstairs to access the bedroom. Just left my handbag there, but you've got like a desk, TV. Over here, you've got like a coffee station with a safe. And you've got a very nice double bed. I like the um, headboards, very nice. You have another mirror here. And you've got some gorgeous views of London. I'm actually staying <laughs> opposite the train station, so that's not as attractive. But if you have a look there, it's not bad, is it? Okay, guys, I'm going to start getting ready. But I thought I'd show you my getting ready station. Um, is it really cringe I'm doing this? <laughs> like comment down below if you're like me and you like to arrange things when you get into hotels so this side is like my makeup i'll be using that tiny mirror there this side i've got my hair I've got my wig in here my wig tools not tools products wig products yeah i'm really happy like i'm actually really happy my my mood has like really lifted from my back pain so yeah, I'm going to get ready and I will see you in the next clip. I'm going to film my makeup next. I thought I'd record me getting ready. I'm just going to charge my phone. Thank God this hotel has like a USB thing to plug into the wall because I didn't actually carry the correct head. So guys, I do apologise if there's poor lighting. I am filming this on my phone. And I'm gonna forgive the bonnet. This is my daughter's bonnet. How it ended up in my suitcase, I haven't got an idea. But I am missing my girls, so it's a nice touch from home. Okay, so I'm going to start with my hair. I'm going to be wearing this kinky straight wig. I have another video that I'll be uploading. I haven't finished editing it, but I actually might include this clip in that video but basically this is a 13 by 4 kinky straight lace front wig when i first got the rig i was not happy because it looked like it was shedding so much um you'll see in the other video like i dyed it and then it started shedding and i got really upset but then after that it, it's been behaving and honestly i wore this wig to my brother-in-law's wedding and it was so nice i was so so happy with the way my hair looked so i thought i'd wear it today um, it's 24 inches, so 
bear with me one second camera. if you're not new to my channel then you will know i'm not shy about doing my hair <laughs> on camera and like having a wig cap it doesn't bother me at all like i'm not ashamed of my hair at all my hair is very damaged but it actually doesn't bother me so yep what i'm gonna do first is just clean the edges with some alcohol i don't think this is the most healthy thing but i just took off my other braided wig which was glued down and i've got a tip actually that actually worked out so well for me today if you're going somewhere and you're going to change wigs and you want to like glue down the first wig obviously you don't want to use like ghost bond or anything like super strong if you want to glue it down where it's proper secure but it's so easy to remove spray the lace with water then you've got to be either the spray or the gel and the wig will be secure but trust me it will be so quick to remove like you would just literally tug it and but it won't be like if the wind blew your wig would fall off no you'd obviously have to just lift it but i did that today and actually it worked out so well for me if you haven't watched my um other video on installing a wig the first thing i do is i use this got to be the black one it has to be the black one not the, not the yellow one um forgive me if i'm looking this way this is where my mirror is oops that's a bit too much I'm going to put some got to be around my hairline and kind of pushing it into my hair because it actually slicks your edges back and that helps your wig. I think it just helps. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. What am I even saying? So I just put a nice amount there. Then I get a fan. Most people use a blow dryer, but I actually use my fan. I do it on the high setting, which is three. I do this process twice, so I might just fast forward to when I get to the next stage. I do this again. Let me know, you guys, do you do your hair first or your makeup first? Because everyone does it differently, but I basically, I do my, I lay my wig down first. And then once my makeup's dry, I know the wig is glued, is like down, then I, then like my makeup is done, then I style the hair. So I put the wig on, secure it, do my makeup, then style the hair. But everyone's different, obviously. So you do what works for you. I'm now going to put the wig on. Okay, now I'm just gonna use this. This is like an edge brush, but I'm using this side. And you'll see what I'm gonna do. Oh no, I forgot my um, crocodile clips, that's fine. I'm gonna just try and, oh, that's annoying. I, I usually clip my hair with crocodile clips here, just so that it's not in my way. So I'm gonna use this to press it in, as you can see. Press that down. that down this basically helps first of all i want to say something right i know i have a big forehead so no one comment down below how big my forehead is i have a big forehead i know and i actually love it because i'm east african and i feel like that ident that's my identity so i will never get a hair transplant i will never hide my forehead i get teased a lot about my forehead but i actually i don't mind i don't mind at all Shout out to everybody who's from Uganda, Burundi, Rwanda, Kenya, Tanzania, even Somalia. We all are in the forehead gang together. Be proud of your forehead, guys. That's what sets us apart. Right, so as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the top of the lace. Some parts haven't really gotten super flat I'll spray it 
then press it down press it down press it down press it down Oops, sorry <laughs> i'm using the yellow spray i haven't i don't I don't use any other adhesive sprays to be honest i know there's like the ebbing spray and there's like loads of others i think some people use this is really posh one that you get like in boots and stuff but for me this is cheap chirpy it works well for me i'm used to it i can buy this large large size from savers for like five pounds it lasts me like ages like almost a year i bought two the queen's the Queen's Jubilee weekend, and I've only just run out of one of them. So I've got like three backups of this spray. So for me, it does the job. Um, I ain't changing it. Okay, a little bit more here. Okay, then we're gonna get our fan again. Okay, you can see here on this side it hasn't really laid flat so i'm going to spray a bit more there i'm going to hold it down and i'm going to use the fan like so Shout out to the person who actually invent not invented but figured out how to lay wigs with all these methods ball cap method this method like it's honestly is my wig too have i laid it too much oh, it's too late now i don't know if i've lost a bit of my forehead do you know I think I might have laid it down too, too far down and that means I might have to do a side parting. I normally do a, a middle part with this wig. Oh, it's too late. It's too late, baby, now it's too late. Right, I've only got one of these, and normally I need like two or three. That's fine. Make the most of what we get. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I feel like I've lost a lot of my forehead. Maybe I haven't. Right, you're gonna need an elastic band. I'm sure you've all seen these being used, and that is gonna help us to just get that lace to stick, get that wig to stick down. And I'm going to leave it on for as long as I possibly can. Perfect. Done. Now, what else I'm going to do before I move to my makeup is I'm going to try... Listen, don't mind this dirt on my wig band. Everybody who does wigs who has bands knows the struggle. I wash mine every week. I put them in a washing machine. But this residue is like glue and makeup and it doesn't all the way come off so don't judge me because you know yours looks the same but yeah anyway i'm going to use some alcohol just to clean the perimeter of my forehead because obviously now i'm going to do my makeup and i don't want like um this glue in the way okay okay hi guys i'm back my makeup is done for the most part. I still need to do some finishing touches. Um, I need to do my lips. I need to also sort of like touch up my, like blend my contour a bit better and like finishing powder and stuff. I'm just gonna apply this. I'm so addicted to this. This is the Dior Lip Oil. It is so good. It's so good. I'm actually even tempted to just have this with no lipstick. Anyway, that there. So now I'm ready to style my hair. I'm gonna take off the band. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip the hair up before I take off the band, just so that the hair doesn't get stuck to the elastic. 
just that I've done that so many times and it's so annoying. So yeah, once again, apologies for the quality of the video. Obviously, I'm doing it on my phone and I don't think I was expecting to even film today. Well, I kind of was, but I wasn't. But yeah, so just taking the band off. And this here is the hairspray, the got to be spray. And I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that. But as you can see, the hair was glued down. Well, you can't really see it because the lighting is terrible, but I'm just gonna get my mirror and I'm gonna use some alcohol, um, not alcohol wipes, I'm gonna use a cotton pad. I don't know how healthy this alcohol thing is. I don't do it all the time, but every time I do it, I get like nervous, like I'm, you know, damaging my skin or something, I don't know. I don't think it's very good for you, so I don't encourage you to do this every day. I don't do this every day. But I'm just going to use it to, can you see? It's going to clean up the excess hairspray. But you want to do it in a way that you don't actually put it on the lace because you don't want your lace to start lifting. So you have to just do it around the lace on your actual head, on your skin. Because you shouldn't obviously leave the house looking like you've got a sort of cast on your face. So can you see? Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is, do you see here, this is lace. We're gonna conceal that, right? So bear with me. I normally use um, the L'Oreal powder that I put on my face, but for some reason I can't find it. So I'm gonna use this Juvia's Place chocolate palette, which looks like this. And I'm gonna use like the darkest, well, the darkest shade for me, which I think is closest to me. That's the darkest shade, but I think this relates to me the most. And I'm going to use that, using the wrong side of my brush. This brush is from Primark. I'm going to use that. Right. So I'm going to just go over. The lace. I've never used this powder before to do it, so hopefully it works. Otherwise, I'm in a bit of a mess because I don't have my usual one. You know what, we make the most of what we have. What can you do? What can you do? At the end of the day, it's just hair. If my lace is slightly showing, I'm sure the whole world will know outside I'm wearing a wig anyway. So if my lace is showing slightly, I can't help that. Everybody mind your own business if my lace is showing, okay? But anyway, I'll conceal it to the best of my ability. I think that looks a bit better. It's not working as well as my L'Oreal powder, but Okay, that's the best I'm going to be able to do. Not bad, could be better, but whatever. <laughs> oh my God, I'm in such a funny mood. Yikes. Right, where am I going to position myself so that it's maybe here? All right, so I'm going to take down that clip. Oh, love this hair. Right, now I'm going to decide if... I don't think middle part is for me today because if you can see, look at look at this. This is a hot mess. I might have to do a side part, which is not really me. I'm normally a, a middle part. Let's, let's see how we go. You can only try. I've said before on my channel, I'm not a hairdresser. I'm not a trained hairstylist. I'm just somebody that wants to be able to do my own hair because I have two daughters and I want to just be able to learn how to do things for my, if I can learn how to do something for myself, I'm going to do it. Regardless of if I have the money or not to pay for a hairdresser or a stylist or a braid or whatever, I want to be able to learn for myself because look what happened in the pandemic. So I think I'm going to have my part here. One thing I will say about this hair, I don't think it actually curls particularly well because I tried to curl it before and it was an epic fail. So we're not even going to waste our time today. But I think the side part looks good. Might give it a bit of that. Right, okay. So I've decided where my part is. Yeah. It's a 13 by 4 frontal. So the parting space is not, excuse me, a lot. 
Right, now I'm going to use the Caracare wax stick and I'm just gonna flatten my hair. I cannot believe I'm doing a side part, oh my God. My friend, shout out to my best friend, Angel. She's pretty much like a sister to me. Well, she is a sister to me. She always says to me, I look better with a side part and I never ever do a side part. So if I, if I was going out with her today, she'd be so happy. I mean, she might not even care that much, but I think she would She would compliment me. I don't know about being so happy. It's not, I mean, whatever. So I'm gonna use my hot comb. This hot comb I bought from Amazon and it is super hot. I've burnt myself before with this. The hot comb I had before was not a hot comb because it didn't get anywhere near as hot as this. So I'm gonna do this. I like to do this as I, can you see how flat that's become? I wish I had my, I wish I had my camera, honestly. I have a camera at home and I could have recorded on the camera. Whoops. Feeling myself, feeling myself, feeling myself, feeling myself. Guys. Right, anyway, let's carry on. What am I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. Oops, I heard a noise. Jesus. Anyway, so I'm going to continue. Um, I'm subscribed to somebody called Mella Child. I've been subscribed to her for years since she was in uni, which I don't know how long ago that was. She's not in uni anymore. She was the one that actually I used to watch to learn. Well, I used to watch a lot of people, but the way she lays her wigs, if you've never watched her before, please look up Mella. Mella as a melanin. Her, her hair is always looking good. And I know she now probably gets her hair done at the hairdressers more than she used to, but even back in the day, so she was the one that, she does her side part with a bit of a lift here. And I used to like see so many girls do it. And they, whenever I'd watch the videos, I'd never see how they did it. And when I watched hers, she was so good at explaining how she achieved that. Is it hump? I don't know what it is. Anyway, she's obviously not, <laughs> probably never gonna watch this video, but. I just, I'm so grateful for girl, black girls that are not afraid to share. All right. So we're going to pause the hot comb for now. We'll be back. And I'm going to switch my straighteners on. The first thing I'm going to do is put some mousse. I'm using this keratin Schwarzkopf mousse which I bought in Tesco. And I just like the way it also helps to slick this hair down. Do you know what? This middle part is not that bad. I don't know why I never do a middle part. It's not actually that bad. It's not terrible. Right, the next thing I'm gonna use is this uh, Fantasia Heat Protector Serum. And I normally use this serum when I'm straightening my hair. You're not supposed to use that much, but I am a bit heavy handed. Just gonna put that all through. Like so. Oh my god, I don't think I switched on my hair straighteners all this time. What a idiot. Right, so I'm gonna divide my hair right down the middle. I'm gonna use my crocodile clip here. I have this comb and I'm gonna use it to just straighten my hair using the chasing method. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the front 
front section I'm going to pin that back I'm just going to do this part first I'm actually going to use a little bit more of that straightening serum because I feel like this side is a bit more poofy I just want to sort this part. Mella Child, please come to my house and teach me how you do your wigs. Because I got the recipe, but the sauce is not the same. Right, I'm going to use some got to be spray. What I'm going to do actually, forget that. I'm going to spray my brush. This brush is from Shein. It's actually a dupe to the Denman, Denman brush. Right, I'm just going to. Enough. Calm down. So I'm gonna brush through. That's just gonna keep my hair. Okay, do you see how sleek it is? I think we're done. It's very sleek. Kinky straight hair normally is quite poofy, and then when you slick it down, it just it looks so natural, it looks like it's giving relaxed hair. It's giving scalp. We are in the bathroom. I love the hair, however. I forgot my powder at home and I can see the lace is literally killing me. <laughs> we need to do something about that because, okay, first of all, we need to get some alcohol and clean that. Okay, let's forget all of that. If you looked at me like this, can you see how sleek the hair is? This is the hair. Hello. Guys, this hair is beautiful. I don't know how it curls because like I said, I tried to curl it once and I just couldn't be bothered. But, yeah. Okay, guys, this is the update on the wig. I've zhuzhed this part up a bit. I mean, it's still not amazing, but we can only do what we can do. Um, I'm going to leave my hair straight because I don't want to start curling my hair. It goes wrong. I get in a tizzy. We ain't got time. So I'm just going to finish getting ready, put my, I haven't decided what I'm wearing, it's between a play suit and a dress. I, I imagined myself in the play suit, but now that I've done my hair and makeup, I'm thinking dress. The dress is so classy, so elegant. The play suit is very sexy. So I'm not sure which one I'm going for. I'm in a mood to be sexy, but I want to look classy, so I'm torn. But once I am dressed, where am I going to be looking? Once I'm dressed, I'll come back and update you guys. I am so flustered. I'm running late and I wanted to show you my dress, but I've had some technical difficulties. Like my zip wouldn't close. I had to go down to reception for someone to help me. I'm hot, I'm sweating already. So I'm gonna go. Hopefully I'll vlog while I'm out. I need to do my lips, oh my God. Anyway, I'm out. It's the next day and I am checking out of my hotel. I'm sad to be leaving because I've had a really good time staying here. The hotel is lovely. I'm staying at the Double Tree Hilton in Victoria. I actually got upgraded as you would have seen and so I had a very comfortable stay. I had breakfast this morning in my room which was nice. Last night was 
an adventure. It was so much fun. Um, we went to this restaurant called Tattoo. I would have inserted clips. Everything was amazing. The service, the food, the ambience. The restaurant we went to Tattoo, which is in Tottenham Court Road, was amazing. Just everything was fantastic. I'm so, so happy that we went there. It was worth every penny. We had such an adventure last night. We decided to go out after the dinner, despite the fact that we stayed in that restaurant till 1 a.m. And we had a very interesting night. And all I'm going to say is, ladies, you have to be very careful because some of these Uber drivers, they're a bit scary. But anyway, we made it home safely. And um, today's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to everybody who's a mom. Happy Mother's Day to myself. I'm looking forward to going home to see my babies. And yeah, thank you so much if you've been watching the whole video. Please subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, and I'll catch you in my next video.